I'd like to show you a new feature in GPR Slice software to get a Google map automatically into OpenGL volume so you can animate your data on top of uh, a site map. You just go into OpenGL and of course you must have a GPS data set. Uh, what we do is we um, go into the Grid 2D list box, we go to BMP image, click on Grid 2D and we have the settings for our map that we're going to get. We have a zoom level of 18, a zone number of 16, and a hard wild wired pixel size of 1500 by 800 pixels. Just hit the button called Get Map Image, and you close that dialog, and automatically the Google map will come up. You must, of course, be connected to the Internet in order to have this feature. You exit here, and that image will be automatically saved into OpenGL. You can hit the Store button, hit the, the Z plane, and we're actually bouncing on top of that uh, Google map. Uh, let's say you want to look at that in 2D, you hit the, the 3D button, which puts it in the 2D, but you have to put a little bit of transparency on uh, when you're looking completely vertical. Uh, we can stop the bouncing, go back, put the transparency on, and we'll go back to 3D. And there's our, our uh, Z scan. We can also put up a radiogram. And this is a GPS radiogram with 23,000 scans, so it takes a few seconds for it to come to the screen. Uh, we can actually do a little bit less, uh, a little bit less vertical exaggeration. And there's our GPS radiogram. Uh, we can actually store that to the screen and uh, put our time slice on top of that. And now we're animating all this in 3D on top of our Google Map. Uh, right now the Google Map is opaque and um, it's also at the bottom of our volume. You also have an option to put that Google Map at some location inside the volume. So I'm just going to stop the bouncing and clear. We can go back to our uh, Google Map and it's a graphical position for the Google Map. Uh, right now we have it at minus 0.5. If you set it to zero it will be halfway in the volume, you just get the image again. You exit there, exit here, and our Google map will be halfway in our volume, right there. And from there, we can store that and put up our Z plane. And in this case, <laughs> because it's uh, opaque, you're not going to see uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the time slice when you're on the other side of the volume. You can put up a little transparency. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit funky sometimes because you can see it on both sides of the of the um, of the image. I'm going to put the transparency back on and we'll stop the bouncing. Uh, I can store that to the screen. I can also put up our 3D radiogram. And uh, that's basically how you get uh, Google Maps into OpenGL volume with GPR Slice.